Hello everyone, welcome back. A question I get asked many times in the comment section, is what is the difference between expand and expand appearance? What is each used for, and why when expand is available, expand appearance is deactivated and vice versa? So let's start with expand. The expand function in Illustrator transforms brush strokes, text, and patterns into vector shapes with editable outlines and anchor points. When you expand a brush stroke, text, or pattern, you are no longer able to edit their effects in their respective tool options. As you can see, this is a simple stroke, without any effect at all. This is a basic square with a fill color and stroke. This is a pattern of my logo applied to a square, and this is a simple type. When we select this stroke, and we go to object, we find that the expand function is available, the same thing when we select all of these objects, then we go to object, we will find that the expand function is available, and the expand appearance is grayed out. This is because there is no effect applied to them. Now, we will see what's the effect of expand function on those objects. Press Ctrl Y to convert to outline mode. That way, you can see the real structure of the shapes. Ctrl Y to get back to the normal view. Select this stroke, then go to Object, and click on Expand. There are two options. Fill and Stroke. Now, I press OK. You can see that this stroke is transformed into a vector shape with editable outlines. The simple stroke transformed into an outline shape in the outline mode. Now, when we select this square, then go to layers. We can see that the square is in a single layer named rectangle. While the square is selected, we go to object, then I click on expand, then I press OK. The single layer is transformed into a group layer, where we can find two sub layers, one for the outline stroke of the square, and one for the square itself. Right click on the square, then click on ungroup. Now it's no more a single object and we can separate the two shapes. You can always verify in the outline mode. You can see that what was a line stroke is now an editable shape with a fill color. Set everything back as it was. Now to see what expand do to a type, select the letters. Then go to object, click on expand, then press OK. Now the type is expanded, you can no more modify it as a type. There is no text option, you can handle it like any other shape by modifying anchor points. Text is expanded so that when the document is saved and shared for print or viewing and editing, the text will be readable whether the other person's computer or printer has the font or not. If the text is shared as editable text, and the recipient does not have the specified font, the text will not display and the document will show a missing font error when opened. Now, when we select the pattern, we can see in the layer panel, that it's a single layer. But after we expand it, it becomes a group layer, where we can find every part of the pattern in a single layer. Right click, then ungroup it, then release the clipping mask, and now you can separate every element of the pattern. Before we proceed, a quick look at Hostinger's offer. Anyone of you that is looking for building a website, a great web hosting service is key to be successful. And Hostinger made it easy for you, a whole web hosting plan, with a free domain name, for just 1.99 cents per month. 
To get maximum discount proceed through the link in the description and enter the coupon code, me-me. Moving to expand appearance. As we have seen that expand allows you to turn text, patterns, lines, and shape strokes into vector shapes without lines. Expand appearance only applies to brush strokes and objects with appearance effects like transparency and drop shadow. They achieve the same result of outlining objects and fixing effects permanently. For example, with the pen tool. We make a simple straight line. Then I increase its size to 40 points. When we go to object, we can see that the expand function is available, and the expand appearance is grayed out. I duplicate the line. Then I go to effects, then to distort and transform, then I choose the zigzag effect. I click on preview to see, I change this to smooth, then I lower the ridges and I increase the size. Then press OK. Now the effect is applied. Go to object, and we can see that the expand appearance is now activated and the expand option is grayed out. But when we press Ctrl Y, we can see that it is still a straight line. And the zigzag is only an appearance effect. When I click on expand appearance, it will convert the line into the actual shape of the effect. It is no longer a straight line, the line now matches the appearance that you see, thus the term expand appearance. Keep in mind it is still a line. The stroke weight and color can be changed easily and edited. Now that it is converted to a simple stroke and there is no effect, I go to object, you can see that only expand is active. I click on it, then I press OK. Now the line is converted to a shape and it will no longer be editable as a line. I will show you an example, let's say, I want to replicate this design, with those two colors and this stroke size. I make a circle. For now, it's a single object. To separate the fill from the stroke, I select the circle. I go to object, then click on expand. Then press OK. Right click and ungroup it. Then select the inner circle and shrink it down. With the eyedropper I pick this blue color, then with the pen tool. I click here and drag. Then I click here and drag again. I swap the fill and stroke. Then I increase the stroke size to 80 points. I change the width profile to this one. I drag this anchor point to the left. Then with the rotate tool, I click in the center, then I hold shift and alt and drag to the left. I repeat this action many times, by pressing ctrl D. Now if I don't expand those strokes, and try to unite them with the circle, using the pathfinder, the fill and stroke will be automatically swapped and united, and I don't get the desired shape. So, ctrl Z to undo this, then I select the strokes, and I go to object, then I click on expand appearance. Now the strokes are converted into outlined shapes. I hold shift and I select the circle, then I click on unite. Now everything is united correctly and I got the exact shape. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked this video, 
stay tuned for Friday, I will upload one of their most requested tutorials in the community tab. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. See you in another video.